Well, as we turn to the late spring and summer months across the country, things are heating up and we start to get more problems with air pollution, specifically something we call ground level ozone. As pollutants build up over America's cities, we get something called nitrogen dioxide, other volatile organic compounds from the exhaust from cars, factories, and all of that builds up in the atmosphere. Then a reaction occurs as that combines with the sun's energy, sunlight, heat during the summer months, and a chemical reaction happens that takes that nitrogen dioxide, breaks off one of the oxygen molecules, and as that combines with the oxygen in the air, we get something called ozone. Now, ozone is good up high. It protects us from the sun's UV rays, but at ground level, ozone can be a major problem. The other thing with ozone is that it moves. And so if you're in an outline area, suburban area, rural area, you can still have problems with ozone because it does move on the prevailing winds. Ozone too can cause coughing, scratchy throats, other big health problems like inflammation of your airways. It can make your lungs more susceptible to disease as well. And existing diseases like asthma, emphysema can be made worse by this ground level ozone. Things we could do to improve air quality include combining your trips in the hot summer months. Take as few as possible. Also, if you need to gas up your car, do it later in the day as opposed to earlier in the day. That helps cut down on these VOCs that can lead to ozone formation. Maybe you're going to mow the lawn. Do that again later in the day instead of in the middle of the day because that can also help to limit ozone across the nation.